How are thoughts formed in the brain? Scientists have been trying hard to find out where the thoughts emerge within our brains. It is a complex task to find out how this is happening and whether the thoughts just come from nowhere. Are these thoughts the reaction against environmental situations? People assume that the thoughts appear as something in the mind which then pops out from our mouths. It is thought that certain activities of the neurons in the brain results in the formation of thoughts. The neuronal processes which mediate and transmit thoughts have both proximal as well as distal causes. Proximal causes include the circumstances and stimuli which we experience in our lives. These experiences result in an impact on our body where the forces react within the inside and outside of the body, leading to the stream of certain thoughts in specific circumstances. The distal causes of neural processes include our evolutionary history or experiential history. These experiences in our past include the learning process through which we go in our consciousness and unconsciousness. There are certain events in our lives which have a negative or positive impact on our minds and bodies. In simpler terms, we all know that thoughts are the entire process of thinking. We do think big and loud. Our thoughts are somehow out of this world, but the idea that these thoughts are only confined to the brain is not the right answer. The thoughts process through the mind and expand towards our bodies, which ultimately results in a thinking process. We perceive cognition as the files which we see, feel or touch through our body, which are then relayed to our brain. This sensory data is perceived through bones, fingers, eyes and ears, which then goes to the mind where these signals are manipulated, which we then term as thinking. Different thoughts occur in different places and go to various other places through several networks. For example, the hippocampus is the part of the brain which keeps memories. Thoughts are processed through the electrical potential that is generated from several chemical reactions within the brain and body which are then transmitted through neurons and then to the synapses between neurons. We consume glucose which is then utilized for energy production to power several transport channels in the brain. This energy is then turned into electrical signals that help the transmission of messages amongst different neurons leading to the creation of thoughts. The electrical signal passes through the entire length of the neuron after which it turns into chemical energy where it turns into neurotransmitters to transmit signals amongst neurons. All this activity of the thinking process is covered by ATP or adenosine triphosphate which is produced by the mitochondria or the powerhouse of the cells. The human brain is at 1 to 3 percent of the total body mass but it needs 20 to 30 percent oxygen with energy that helps the neuronal networks to work properly. No scientists or researchers can thoroughly explain the idea of how thoughts are formed in our brains. It is assumed that all of us are born with a certain coding mechanism in our heads, similar to computers. We then start learning different languages, processing different images, which are then programmed into our brain that starts producing thoughts. For instance, if you are thinking about someone's face, then the selective neurons of the brain will be activated, where it starts thinking about someone's face and how they will perceive them when they see. Another example includes imagining things, where certain areas of the brain, like temporal and occipital lobes, are activated and they respond in a certain way. The brain has 86 billion neurons that need energy, and the cells start firing electrical impulses whenever we think about something. The human brain is a mesmerizing organ. The more we explore it, the more it fascinates us. Would you like to watch some more amazing videos about the human body? Follow and like our page for more.